Hello to all my friends out there. So when I first started these videos five years ago, this is what I was telling my followers and things have not changed. This video is grocery shopping that is like your stockpile, but gets you the best food for the least amount of money. So we're going to do it by meal. Okay, for breakfast cereal and milk okay this month i will buy or as soon as i find it the big bag of oatmeal and then uh, walmart generally has cornflakes for a dollar the big box but i can't find any but as soon as i do i will load up shredded wheat the reason is these cereals with milk gives you complete protein but I don't like those uh, cereals. Well, I'll put some sugar on them. It's cheaper than buying the sugared ones. So uh, shredded wheat and raisin bran. So those are the main, I buy other kinds when I find them for a good deal. If they have nice big boxes for a dollar, I pick up a couple. Then powdered milk. Okay, the one I like, you get 10 packages at Walmart. I think it's about $9. So you're kind of getting a pack, you know, one package free and so I like to buy one or two of these all the time lunch is sandwich and fruit or small salad so I'm looking for bread marked down so for me that means I'm looking for a loaf of bread for 50 cents tuna peanut butter lunch meat cheese and eggs so you guys have been you guys have seen me getting uh making these sandwiches these giant sandwiches with eggs with cheese peanut butter is good so okay now and this is the same way i stockpiles and another thing is you're not going to be running out of food by buying stupid stuff by going out to eat because there's no food in the house now for dinner i want to have some meat chicken now what i have found good is the three pound bags of breasts no skin and thighs at walmart so they're about a, a little under seven dollars but you're not paying for bone but they're about two dollars a pound and it gives you a lot and then the thighs do not have to be uh, defrosted which is great if you're going to bake them i don't know about frying but um i will buy one or two of these hamburger patties part soy okay if you buy the uh, do i really like the part soy no but i don't like running out of hamburger either so the part soy are um around 16 for ten dollars and so if you buy uh two packages for twenty dollars you get 32 uh hamburger patties and you can defrost them in the microwave this is at walmart probably anywhere in two minutes um i think about 20 uh patties is uh, maybe it's 32 is 20 dollars so that's the cheapest way unless i find something else okay bacon ends when I buy bacon ends, I buy three large trays at Albertsons, and those are about $7. Um, and what I do is I dig around in the bacon ends to find the ones that aren't too fatty. Okay, for sausage, pork sausage, I will find a one pound chubs at a good price, and I will buy three, and I bought five sausage links. And you guys have seen me making stuff out of those sausage links. Uh, mainly I like sausage with biscuits and gravy one large bag of fish sticks those come in handy you know you can boil up some rice um, you can make some macaroni and cheese and eggs 60 eggs that uh, I got that idea from Henzo so if you don't run out of eggs you're probably not going hungry okay and then potatoes rice and sweet potatoes so what we've had is a spike in the potato prices but i would keep at least 10 10 pounds is not really enough for a family you can buy the really big uh, bags at smart and final rice is easier to store and sweet potatoes are getting high powdered milk and then i added chocolate milk mix and i want to show you why so 
So this is two cups of chocolate milk. And so I freeze it. Uh-oh, my freezer. I freeze it, and then it's like chocolate ice cream, but cheaper. Oh. While I'm in here, let me show you. What I'm going to be doing is, is uh, this is uh, strawberries that I bought fresh and blueberries. And I just cut them up and froze them, and bananas frozen. So now what could happen is you could put your frozen fruit on yogurt or you can put your frozen fruit on uh, that ice cream. Also, I bought this bread for 50 cents marked down. So for that, all you have to do is just go to the places that sell the, the food, which is almost every place marked down. What I do is I swing by when I go to Walmart where they keep the markdowns and I buy, you know, if they have what I need. So what I need is what's on this list. So the powdered milk, I already told you guys, I like the the 10 pound, I mean the 10 pouch packets for $9. Chocolate milk mix and yogurt. One yogurt so you can make your own yogurt. Fresh fruit marked down and just cut and freeze fresh vegetables. Just plunge them into boiling hot water uh, you know, drain them and then freeze them and buy your fresh fruit uh, marked, I mean your fresh fruit uh, marked down. Uh, also though, I do stockpile cans every now and then, you've seen me, I'll go in and I'll buy cases of, of cans of food. If you have the money, uh, just buy as many cases as you can. Okay, sugar, at least 10 pounds, flour, at least 10 pounds, two 100 bags tea, and cookies, two per week. But what I do is I just buy uh, two every time I go to the store, and you know, I've got them in there. Right now, I'm on the diet, so you know, no cookies. So there is the shopping list, and that is the same as stockpiling. You can buy the potato, um, you know, scallop or instant. Uh, um, the sweet potatoes are expensive. You can buy them, uh, you can buy them uh, canned, but that's expensive. Let me give you a shot of the list in case you want to take a screenshot. This is so easy and you're not going to be eating bad food. Let me go over this. Uh, uh, one thing I didn't add on the cereal is I would get Rice Krispies. So when Halloween comes, you can make Rice Krispie treats. Get the bread marked down and try to get everything marked down if you can. Uh, okay, dinner. This is very easy to do, and you won't be buying a bunch of crap that you don't really need to be eating. Uh, I would go heavy on the... Oh, and this is... You know, today I bought the five sausage links. That's not an 8% increase from $1 to $1.56. That's a 56% increase. Uh, so they're they're saying expect these minor increases. They're not minor. They're fifty percent on chicken. If that was if that three pound bag went fifty percent, uh, it would be nine dollars as opposed to six. If hamburger went up fifty percent, it would be um, it would be um, fifteen dollars as opposed to uh, ten, and that would be for partially soy. Could that happen, and will that happen? Yeah, probably will. Okay, now on the potatoes, we saw a 50% increase. We were getting 10, per, 10 pounds for the same, we were getting uh, 10 pounds for the same price. We were getting 15 pounds. Powdered milk, I would expect that one, and cheese, because that's a milk product. Uh, this is going to help you out. Uh, the fresh fruit in the freezer is going to help you out. And you don't want to, you don't want to be uh, low here because then you're not going to have bread. The cookies are totally unnecessary.
Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and if you have any good, good ideas, can you leave them under a comment, and God bless you all.